Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Crystal Clear 101. I have another toy review, and this time I'm reviewing the Star Wars 12 inch Clone Trooper. Now, this is one of two figures that Hasbro is doing for the Star Wars line. The other one that's available is Anakin Skywalker. Matter of fact, I believe it's supposed to be the Episode 3 version, Anakin Skywalker. Now, the way the figure itself is done up, it's almost like a classic, um, I want to say 70s, early 80s, 12-inch Star Wars figure. But, anyway, front of the packaging, side, back. And they use a shot from Episode 2. Now, the way the figure's done up, it's done up in the Phase 1 armor. Let me go ahead and bring the figure in. Here he is. Now, let me go ahead and say this figure, for the, for the most part, is intended for kids. That's really what this figure's aimed for. So, it's not going to have the articulation, obviously, of the 4-inch figures, which are intended for adults. Well, more for adults. They're intended for collectors. But the figure itself consists of... A swivel head, swivel shoulder, swivel wrist, and swivel legs right at the base of the hip. But um, again, the but the way the armor itself is done, it actually looks really nice. The head skull for the for the Phase One helmet actually looks really, really good. I like it. Now the funny thing is the two little pouches that are right here on the belt. These are done correctly. Now. Um, this is something, for one reason or another, Hasbro hasn't gotten right on their little 4-inch figures. But they're able to get it right on the 12-inch, which is really odd. Now, his only accessory, he comes with a DC-15 carbine. And it is permanently affixed to his right hand. But, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, losing his, losing his blaster. Now, the detailing on the figure itself is actually reasonably good, especially the belt, the back of the panel, right here on his back. And they even include the little wrist communicators um, right down here on his lower arms. But, I mean, overall, it's not a bad-looking little 12-inch. Um... If you're looking for a Star Wars toy to give your kid, you're not going to go wrong with this. Also, this generally this is supposed to retail for about twelve ninety nine. I typically see them for about nine ninety nine where I'm at, but it's not bad. It's a twelve inch figure. It's a clone trooper. Um, I want to say for the most part he's PVC plastic, but um, again, like I said, it's intended for a kid. Also. Considering it's not a closed fist, if you want to, you can always fist bump with your little clone trooper here. But, other than that, um, this actually makes a nice little display piece if you want to just put them on a shelf with other clone troopers or other Star Wars figures. Uh, for that, he he's actually pretty cool. So, if you want me to give you my overall opinion, um, if you want a Star Wars figure for your kid, you're not going to go wrong. If you want a nice display piece... Uh, for your Star Wars collection, you're not going to go wrong. Either way, you're not going to go wrong with the 12-inch Clone Trooper. Um, or, frankly, for that matter, really, the 12-inch Anakin Skywalker. If anyone wants to see my review of the 12-inch uh, Anakin Skywalker, be sure to message me, be sure to comment, and I'll definitely do a review on that one. But that's my review on the 12-inch Star Wars Clone Trooper. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe.